Episode 22. It's all happening. This time it's definitely happening, right? It's right. Okay. Take spoiler three. season. <laughs> all coming up. Time for spoilers! It what? is spoilers, yeah. Not uh, not specifically commander ones. But fun ones. Boom. Fun ones. Sherman, sometimes, take us away. Sometimes we like to have we're, fun. We're, we're talking about unsaying... Well, let's start off properly first. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Into the 99, where we have 99 cards, because commander's number one. I'm one of your hosts. Sherman. I'm Hope. I'm Daniel. And I forgot my name. I'm Brian. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're talking about a set that's coming out February 29th. Fun times. Everyone should definitely go to their local game store and draft this set. It looks extremely fun. We're going to touch a little bit at the end about our opinions on using Legality. these cards in Commander yeah. and what the take should be. Of course, there's going to be some things that just... Use your common sense is going to be basically the premise we touch on. But we'll get into that later. But we're this talking is, unsanctioned, this is unsanctioned. boys. Okay, can I scroll yet? Because like, yes. we yeah. haven't seen the spoilers we, we, yet. Out of everyone, the only one here that has seen any of these spoilers, Sands the Land, of course, which I think are beautiful and everyone seems to hate. I, Hope's I've, raising her hand. I don't know why. I've uh, seen a bunch of them. The spoilers? Yeah. No, you've seen a few of the legendary ones. You've seen like six cards. Oh. She's lying. I've seen that. Anyways. Oh, yeah, either way, you, if that's the case, you guys have seen it. Brian, I know, haven't seen it. I definitely haven't seen a single I would not even let him scroll down on this the This looks like the most fun set to draft in ages. Ages. I, I normally like playing the unsets. Unsets are fun. Um, yeah, they're hilarious because they're, like, they're, they're fun, silly combos, silly mechanics and everything. It's just fun overall. Like, this is just like well, a good night out with your friends. Yeah, the other straight thing, up. The, the other thing, too, is as Commander players, we might have to start learning how to draft because they did announce a Commander draft, and I will be drafting that. Yeah, I said yeah. a draft. Well, uh, I see. have to agree. I get it. They want to, they want to drag us in. They want us to buy some packs. Let's let's see if I'm it's worth it. For that. I think I've, for I've opened enough packs for this current set. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, like, I'll, I'm buying packs junk. no matter what, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, let's get into some of these. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm scrolling around. Start I don't some care. Of the rares, so. okay, I'm, uh, Whoa, calm down, calm down, calm down. No, I'm not going to calm down. I want to see what there is. Okay. All I see is Bob. <laughs> Bob. He's a planeswalker. He's an unsanctioned let's planeswalker. Let's go in order. Okay. Oh, like, <laughs> Sorry, it's Bob. Oh, yeah. He loves people. No, the first hey one's going to be uh, Sir Can- uh, Cadian. Sir Knight- Cadian. Cadian. Sir yeah. Cadian. Love it. Night Owl. Three white white. Legendary creature of Bird Knight. What the heck? Night, uh, night life link? Yeah. That much stuff by like nice new control also caused you to gain life, that much life. That's awesome. Holy smokes. Okay. So it's a 4 4. Okay. For one white, um, that night hour gains vigilance till end of turn. Activate this ability only from sunrise to sunset. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, so we, there's definitely a new mechanic or something like that. Or does it actually, does, do they yeah. actually mean Actual sun. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like so, while you're drafting it, if you're drafting this in the daytime, the rules have to go the day and the night. Oh. Uh, a lot of these cards will like that. You'll see as it goes. Okay. And then for one black, you can gain flying until end of turn. Activate ability only from sunset. Uh, sun set to sunrise. Yeah. So oh. nighttime. So during the day he can have vigilance. At night he can only fly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, Which makes sense. It's an owl. He's not criminal. Exactly. Yeah. That's so... They're so dumb. I love it. They have, <laughs> they have an unset... Owls are quite intelligent, actually. No. Can you I'm... not be birdist right now? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh mm, fantastic. A pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> but for the first time ever, Peasant. right? They have a planeswalker. Bevy of beetles. Oh, Bob. Bob. So... What's up, Bob? Hey, Bob. Bob um, enters the battlefield, create four... 1-1 one, one blue Beeble creature tokens. The number of uh, loyalty counters on Bob is equal to the number of Beebles you control. That's cool. Yeah. When I first looked at it, I thought it was a box of BBs. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the L was an I. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we used to play Airsoft, for those who don't know. So. It's plus one. Up to X target Beebles can't be blocked this turn, where X is the number of cards in your hand. That's fantastic. And a minus one is draw a card. Yeah. That's so awesome. It's dope. I, it's I love this. Heckin' dope. It's really cool that they made a, a Planeswalker in the unset. So. Is there more, though? That's my <laughs> question. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? She just. I, I have it blown up on my screen. She just saw the artwork of the next one. Oh. Okay. Uh, nope. So, like, are we talking about the... That's not what you're laughing at? No. The I'm, Infinity Internal? Elemental. Uh, elemental. Let's, 
Once again, we're going out of order here. Let's go in order. Because... In Furnius, Spawnington the third, Esquire. Esquire. For ten. Ten and a black. Ten and a black. Ten and a black. It is a creature, Flying. demon, beast, uh, crossed out beast, demon, grandchild. Flying. <laughs> First strike. Trample. Haste. This spell costs three less for each card you've revealed this turn. And when it enters the battlefield, you may say, I'm here. And if you do, it deals three damage to target player. I love it when they do silly things like that. Yeah. I love it. It's like, like what was it, like the last time yeah, like the, you had to go around high-fiving everyone. Yes. Or talk in a funny voice or whatever. Yeah. That's so good. And this, is, yeah. this one right here is maybe the greatest card that I've ever seen in my entire life. A nine, nine. And like you, you reveal your, like... Cards in your hand to lower the CMC by three. That's I need to read this. The next one? I need it. All right, go ahead. Infinity Elemental, four and three red. This creature has infinite power. <laughs> infinite! <laughs> oh my goodness, four red, red, red. Four. Read the flavor text. I can't read it. Please read it. I'll read it. It says, it's so infinite that its flavor text 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 says. <laughs> so it's an infinity five. Yeah, so infinity for power and toughness is five. This is, this is so stupid. Gold. It's gold. Silly. It's gold. It, it is, it's a great card, I have to admit. It is a very, very flavorful, great card. The fact that it has infinite power is hilarious. So give That's it. what I was looking at. I, thought, I was like, does that say 50 or Are is it the okay? infinite, infinite, infinite symbol? symbol? <laughs> the, the next card on the list, Surgeon General, crossed out, Commander. It's three, <laughs> three colorless and a green for a legendary creature, Wombat Chameleon. Wombat, Wombat Bat, Bat Chameleon. Wombat Bat Chameleon, yes. Whenever you augment, enchant, or mutate a creature you control, draw a card. And it can tap for one of Wooburg. That's really cool. Four, three, three. It's you know dope. That's going to be you a commander been, right there from War. You know what would have been hilarious, though? If they instead it's of right Surgeon General alley. Commander, and call, they, they had a picture of a Sturgeon. Sturgeon General Commander. Oh my god. What? Come on. Get, no. get your puns out of here. No. But this, this is a hilarious card. I love the fact that, that it'll tap for any mana. Yeah, it, it would be a really fun five color general. Yeah. For, I would not for be, four, a, I would be able to get... not be upset if somebody played this. I think it'd be cool. It's four mana, taps for any color, whatever. And it's hilarious. Wombat Bat Chameleon. Yeah. That's Wombat Bat Bat Chameleon. The artwork is hilarious on it as well. Yeah, that's uh, that's why I want to draft this set. It looks so just silly. Uh, the next one the next is one. Flavor Judge. Me. It is a... I'll judge your flavor. Hilar- hey, baby. It is a hilarious looking <laughs> card. Uh, it's one colorless and a white for a creature bird advisor 2-2. Two, two. It's a chicken ref. It, has, <laughs> it is a chicken ref, yes. Yeah. It has... It Rooster is, or chicken. I don't know. It has tap... Rooster choose- social chickens. <laughs> <laughs> it has tap, choose target spell or ability that targets a permanent you control. Then ask a person outside the game if the story of what will happen makes sense. If they say no, sacrifice Flavor Judge and counter that spell or ability. Literally, it's like anybody that plays D&D would like succeed deep. <laughs> Literally, Brian would be great at this because he's a DM. And then, and then <laughs> the flavor text is... And now they're trying to make a brick wall on my property fight a dinosaur to the death. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. <laughs> Alexander Clamilton. <laughs> <laughs> another another legendary creature. Oh. How happy you guys are. Two Aren't you happy you didn't spoil it? He doesn't look happy. This is, this is Mr. Cl- Mr. Clamilton. Got a water gun. Mr. Clamilton does not look impressed. <laughs> this, uh, look at what kind of creature type he is. A clan folk advisor rebel. So he uh, he would be an Izzet commander because he has a red ability. Whenever you cast oh. a wordy spell, scry two. Oh, a, wordy a spell is wordy if it has four or more lines of rules text. Brian's crying. <laughs> <laughs> For two and a tap, choose target creature you don't control. Reveal the top card of your library. Alexander Clamington, Clamilton, <laughs> Clamilton gets XO until end of turn, where X is the number of lines of rules text of the revealed card. Alexander Clamilton fights that creature. And it's a zero four. Isn't that fantastic. everything? That's fantastic. I'm going to squat at you. <laughs> <laughs> this next one will make our friend Eddie happy. Oh, it's a squirrel. A Cornelia. Uh, Nelia. A Cornelia? Oh my god, I do <laughs> Fashionable uh, Fil- filter. filter. For three and a black. Okay, legendary creature squirrel. 
Whenever you cast a spell with a scroll in its art, you get uh, an acorn counter. Whenever a scroll you control enters the battlefield or dies, you get an acorn. Uh, for two in a black, pay X acorns. Acorns. Target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn, or you pay a green and pay X acorns. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn. That's the, that's pretty cool. This that's- was made for Sherman. Sherman loves themes. I do, I do, especially when it comes to counters and everything. Well, and squirrels in the artwork. So my thing is like, why aren't the squirrels throwing the acorns? I just want to see what. I love I, it. I love, I love, like everybody loves squirrels. I do. You know, so like the I think that's that the only up, the only tribe that I would allow someone to play for the unsets. Unset. Yeah. I, would, I would let people play mostly unset, especially if you wanted to drop that roll of squirrel down. I would yeah. be yeah. It's just dumb and fun. Well, just and... well, there's to my thing is like I would love to have a squirrel deck, but in all honesty, in the cards that are already out in like the legal cards, I should say, there's not that many oh. squirrels. So, but in these, but in these squirrel. unsets, there's, there's no so many squirrels. Yeah, a cornelia, fashionable filter. How fashionable! I love it. High yeah, passion. I think the Earl's squirrel is the only legendary squirrel commander you can have besides this now. So boom stacker, boom stacker, boom stacker, boom stacker. Boom stacker. So it's a two in a red. Need more energy in that. Uh, zero zero. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so as the boom stacker enters the battlefield, and whenever it attacks, stack two die, uh, <laughs> stack two dice <laughs> on top of it. Okay, boom, st- boom stacker gets plus one plus one for each die in its stack. Interesting. When it attack, uh, or it must attack each combat, and when a stack falls, sacrifice it. Oh my goodness! Isn't that fun? So if you have this... J- 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 I love how you stack. It's just like the buffet. <laughs> just like a buffet. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't say it has to be a, a six-sided die. Sure doesn't. So I... You can I, cho- I, I choose, a, I choose a, a two-sided die of my, my coins. <laughs> <laughs> but even if you had, like, really nicely shaped what are, die. What are the pointy dice? The, the Caltrop-looking ones? Oh, the D4s. The four, D4s. Yeah. D4s? Make, a, make a house of cards with the D4s. <laughs> make oh. the boom stacker pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, would, like, leaning it against it count as stacking? I think that would it be... Has to be. It has to be free stacking, would... though, right? <laughs> it has to be free stacking. <laughs> free stacking. <laughs> it has to be free stacking. Sometimes so, I'm there's... free stacking myself. <laughs> <laughs> there's questionable things happening here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You guys <laughs> use your imagination for what we're doing here. This is why we need to start recording this. This next yeah. one, I am going to make a commander deck out of. Pippa! Pippa. I don't care if anyone wants to play it. I'm going to play it. Pippa. Pippa. Duchess of Dice. It's a Duchess Dice. of Dice. And it's um, Simic Colors because it's got the blue oh, for, yeah. in the bottom. Okay. It's a legendary human noble. Two and a green. It's a Simic Commander. And it has two abilities. The first one, two and a green. Tap, roll a six-sided die. Uh, it becomes a green dice creature with power and toughness, each equal to its result. How fun. Number th- uh, Its second ability is two and a blue. Reroll any die. That's awesome. What type of character Activate was it? Activate this ability only any time it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> right? It definitely makes sense to do this right now. <laughs> when it comes to following orders, it was do or die. You know, this would actually be really fun to play too with um uh like any of those like weird like roll of dice, try to get whatever. Like it just like if you could Honestly, you know what we should do? What? A secondary one where we just we draft this but also with the plane chase? chase, yes. Heck oh, yeah. No. So crazy. I reroll this dice. <laughs> oh no, the planner die. It makes sense. Yep. Chaos, 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 chaos. Can you please justify your actions to me? But like reroll it, like re-roll it on someone else's turn. Yeah. I re-roll it for them. Strutting, Look at this turkey! Strutting turkey. Oh, so they brought back the the mechanic for uh, Yeah, so a mix and match mechanic. Yeah. So it's a three and a white for a two two uh, cre- uh, bird. So if it has like that split card where you can like uh, okay. I can't remember what you call Make it, it a split, modify yeah. it or whatever, augment or whatever. Augment, yeah. yes, thank you. So um, when this creature enters the battlefield and then blank, right? Because it's like the the front of something, so you just gotta uh, do something else. Give it and a then, back. Yeah, and the second part is exile target creature card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. 
When it has augment, combine it with a host you control. Otherwise, put it, uh, put it, uh, on, sorry. Onto the battlefield. Put it onto the battlefield. It's hard to read sometimes, but no, this, this is an hard. interesting card. This one, uh, the next one looks very, very fun. Uh, very, very rings annoying. a bell. Oh, I wanted to make a deck called that. It's a uh, two colorless blue, blue enchantment. As rings a bell enters the word, uh, enters the battlefield, choose a word with four or more letters. After you say the chosen word for the first time each turn, an opponent may ring up or imitate a bell within five seconds. When no opponent does, draw a card. Boom shakalaka. I know exactly which <laughs> word I'm doing. Four or more letters. <laughs> Anything? Like, yeah. hello? I can't say it. <laughs> yeah. PG! PG! But that, that, that's a fun card. That's a fun card. So you, fun! You, you gotta remember your own trigger, and then you, uh, other people have, other to, people remember have to remember your own trigger. Like, so fun! Yeah. This next card is the card I want to I want to pull the most out of the entire the, set so far. Enter the dungeon for a black black sorcery. Players play a magic sub game oh, no. <laughs> under the table. It's your heart start. <laughs> no. Starting at five life and using their libraries as decks. The winner searches their library for two cards, puts them into their hand, and then shuffles their library. Wow. What a waste of time. But literally having to hide under the table is going to be everything. It's literally under, under the table. The table. Yeah. Sorry. Have, we'll just have like a second mat. Like, why are you putting the mat underneath the table? No reason. You'll see. <laughs> no reason. No reason at all. Um, Look at how fun this boy is. Ooh. He's a- Stir the draconic proofreader. <laughs> <laughs> for four red red. Legendary I'm sorry, creature. but if, if a Draconic Proofreader isn't Niv Mizzet, I don't know who is, though. Real talk. Well, it's Stir. Yeah. It's a Dragon Burrow crab. He, he, well. mu- he oh, literally, it's not Niv Mizzet, he it's literally Stir. must. It's Stet. Stet? Stet, yeah, my Oh, friend. see the T, yeah, it looks like an R from I, back I here. right up, like I said. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, he's a he's a Dragon Burrow Well, he's Stir to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now. He's got yeah, flying. flying. Uh, whenever. Uh, it attacks. You may exile a card from your graveyard. When you do, uh, it deals, or the creature deals four damage to any target whose name begins with the same letter as the exiled card. The rate its ability. <laughs> is that a white? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so a white. Delete the Making first... Boros viable. Oh my god. 2020. Delete the first letter of target permanent or player's name until end of turn. <laughs> fun. I'm still laughing at that he's a bureaucrat. How fun. Fun. <laughs> he's just like a filing More man. Fun. I choose bureaucrats. <laughs> <laughs> this is my bureaucrat deck. Oh my god. <laughs> well, sir, you guys down to politics here? Yeah. <laughs> just casting <laughs> things like causing red tape and everything. Like, Say that. Uh, you did not announce your end step. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you wanted to do that? You didn't announce it or bring it to the table you'll for need, a vote? You'll, you'll need to stamp that form for draw. Yeah. That's, that'd be a perfect deck, like, commander deck, because you have, like, uh, like paperwork, like, death and taxes kind of deal. <laughs> but yeah. the, the player has, like, a filing <laughs> thing with them. It's like, like an abacus. You need to fill out those their cards. That's what they're drawing from a filing cabinet. <laughs> they, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you want to do that? You need to fill out form 1A. Here there's, you go. There's one of those, like, calculators that has, like, the, the, the ticket tape the that are, like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. So good. This is so horrible. Can I please I love, have you proofread this? This next one actually I super love. I think it's really fun. So Pardon it's called me for one second. Oh, oh so what did I? Mm. Um, so the next one's called Spirit of the Season. It's one and two green. It's a uh, tree folk spirit three three. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it gains haste if it's summer. You put a one one on it if it's autumn. You gain five life if it's winter. And if it's spring, you search your library for a basic land and reveal it. Put it into your hand and shuffle. So it's literally dependent on the season. The season. Yeah, so fantastic. right now for us, like we'd get five life. It would be like great if like uh, you had to say like ho 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 if it was winter or something right? like that. Like, like, <laughs> at the so beginning cool. of your upkeep, you can gain five life, but you have to say ho ho ho. I also <laughs> just like love that it's got a little watering can. Like I just I love it. And, it's and, just like and a scythe in his hand. Like, oh, this next one looks very I'll... very fun to play. Sherman would love it because he loves the politics. Frankie peanuts. Frankie peanuts. Two white one. white. Legendary creature, Elephant Rogue. I like that part already. Yeah. Or two, three. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may ask target player a yes or no question. If you do, that player answers the question truthfully and abides by that answer if able <laughs> until end of turn. That is great but horrible. I would ask so many Will you questions. attack me? Yes. This is, this is going to be like... <laughs> it doesn't have to be game. Have you ever? Game. Yeah. I mean, true. This is like... like- 
Truth or dare? This is truth or dare the card. Yeah. <laughs> I, you ever broke into life? I love the flavor text on it. Don't cross him or you'll end up sleeping with the merfolk. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, there's so many questions you can ask. And like, it doesn't have to be related to the game. Oh my God, this is bad for Sherman. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> the next one. The next one? Avatar of me. me. For, I, I just love the artwork already. Yeah, it's cool. So, for two blue blue, uh, creature avatar, uh, it's a star star. This spell costs one more to cast for each ten years you've been alive. Really? <laughs> really? That's not fair to me. That's not fair. I'm old. Sherman's cast this for a hundred. <laughs> Avatar of me's power is equal to your height and feet. I'm short! I know, I said <laughs> this card's bad for you. And his toughness is equal to your American shoe size. Ooh, round I have, to the a, nearest, I have a big one. Oh, round to the nearest, what is it? Three, half. Three, or nearest half. Avatar of me is the color of your eyes. Wow. So what? I have a two <laughs> cost, sorry, I have a six cost, five Seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> what what color is it? Green. <laughs> oh, man. What about people with brown eyes? Jacob's cat. Jacob has a six cost. Uh, yeah, his would be a six cost six fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, how tall are you? I'm six foot. I'm short. I feel that on a deep level. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. This is a fun card, but I wouldn't draft. I would draft it just to have it in collection. Yeah, but I would no way I would be playing it. But it's no, very. It, it would just it, it'd be so so terrible for me. Sure, you know what like big 12. shoes mean? Big toughness. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. That sounds like a future meme right there. Uh, infernal spawn of evil. Six colorless, three black. It's also well, like it a like little. The, it's a, the it's happiest like this, mouse yeah, of this life. Little boy drinking hot cocoa. It's a creature. It's a boy, it's a mat. That's a mouse. Beast. First strike. Seven, seven, first strike. Ooh. Flying first strike. Yeah. One black. Flying. <laughs> Reveal infernal spawn of evil from your hand. Say, it's coming! <laughs> infernal spawn of evil deals one damage to target opponent or player. Said. Activate this ability only during your upkeep and only once you turn. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming! It's coming! <laughs> it's coming! It's, it's like you're taunting. I would never cast it. I, I'm not what it's keep about. On saying it. It's coming. Yeah, just wait for it. It's coming. <laughs> and I bounce Infernal Spawn of Evil to my hand and play it again. It's coming. I also love this one because it, oh my god, sorry for touching you. No, feet. all good. Um, I love this one for its um creature type and name. So it's called the Abstract Iguan Art. It's uh, one in a red. It's a creature. It's a creature. Um, art lizard. Uh, whenever you cast a spell, note the first letter of its artist's name. If that letter wasn't already noted, put a one-one count on Abstract Iguan Art. Oh, Another no, moving for... piece by the artist El Gecko. Uh, a really good El thing Gecko. to uh, actually make you look at the artist because a lot of people ignore. Who yeah, is. yeah, not me, but the, a lot of people. The, the, all four of us love artwork, and we like remember like the the artist that that draws yeah. and everything. So I I like this card. It does promote the artist totally. As well. This next one too that, is super that fun. Poor pooch. B-I-N-G-O. 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 I'm big what's his, his name? name? Oh. So it's a one <laughs> and a green. Um, he's a creature hound, obviously. Uh, with Trambample. For, he's got a one one. Uh, whenever, <laughs> sorry, whenever a player casts a spell, put a chip counter on its converted mana cost. Uh, Bingo gets nine nine <laughs> for each set of three numbers in a row with chip counters on them. So, so the artwork has like a dog with numbers one through um, nine. The flavor text is: Seven. There was a farmer had a hound. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. This this card is and Bingo fun. was his name. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Anyways, it, it doesn't have it has one through seven. Yeah, it's it's got That's one, two, three, three, four, five, seven, six, zero. Uh, ah, yeah. Eight. Oh, eight, five, three, two, zero, six. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? That's two threes. This is an eight. That's, That's not. That's a three. The this part. right here that I can see blown up on the screen. That's that is an eight. I'm calling it a two threes. Well, it's an eight. Two well, three. I disagree. Oh my god, I love. Oh no! He's back. <laughs> <laughs> the infernal spawn of the infernal spawn of evil. Jumping ahead a little bit here, but that's okay. Look at me! I'm the DCI. 
Look at me on the TCI. It's a five white white. <laughs> it looks like a child drew it. Sorcery. <laughs> I read the card. Five, five white white. Ban a card other than a basic land for the rest of the match. All <laughs> cards with that name in any zone or sideboard are removed from the match. Few understand the DCI's rigorous decision making. <laughs> <laughs> that goes in the dragon bureaucrat deck for sure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, also, Chicken a la King, get out of here. These what? cards are so, He's so funny. fancy. What about so blue? Fancy. Creature bird. Whenever a six is rolled on a six sided die, put a one one counter on each bird. And then you can tap an untapped bird you control. Roll a six sided die. And then literally just like roll it again with Pippa. Yeah. yeah. Well, so this, too, this would go in it, but uh, I love the flavor text all these. I'm going to keep reading them. During the chicken resistance, the king managed to keep his head while the others, well, just <laughs> ran around. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. This next one is the one that got Brian just a giggling. <laughs> the infernal spawn of infernal spawn of evil. <laughs> Oh, so good. <laughs> Flying first strike champ, trample, beast demon child. <laughs> <laughs> For eight black black. And what does it do? Once each turn, while you're searching your library, you may pay one in a black. Reveal infernal spawn of infernal spawn of evil from your library and say, I'm coming to. <laughs> 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 and you do, infernal spawn of infernal spawn of evil deals two damage to the player of your choice. So if you play both of I'm them, coming. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming to. to. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Wait up for me. My legs are so short. Aww. <laughs> Oh, what's this next one? Blast from the past. Oh the my red. god, this, this is lasers. Oh, and they had the old. They had to put awesome. and they had to put madness in here. Yeah. Wow, madness. madness cycling kicker flashback buyback. Oh Holy my gosh. <laughs> okay, so the madness causes what? One red. Cycling causes one in a red. Kickers, Kickers are three two in a red. <laughs> flashback's three in a red. And buyback's four in a red. Okay, and blast from the past deals two damage to any target. If this spell was kicked. Create a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token. Yo, the fact that it has madness, though, is kind of dope. It is pretty cool. The fact that it has everything is pretty dope. Yeah. Like, it has all of the effects. The next card's Sherman. <laughs> oh, fogey. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Sherman, you didn't age well. <laughs> <laughs> is this a reprint? I love it. I can't it. remember. I, I think they had something like this, but let's let's see what it does. So, a green green, summon dinosaur... That's eight. how you know it's like old style. Ooh, phasing. Seven, seven, four, and it has phasing cumulative upkeep of one. Echo, phasing three. Band with other dinosaurs. Yes. Protection from um, hummerids, snow covered plains, <laughs> plains <laughs> walk, uh, flanking, and rampage two. Oh, read, you read, read the, the flavor, flavor text. Too. You're going to love it. You guys have to read it. It's too far from me. Beast kids today with their collector numbers and their newfangled tap symbol. 20 black lotus and 20 flag rats. Now that's real magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Back in the day when like no one knew like you had like a... Uh, uh, maximum four copies. Like you would have like plague rack decks, you know, or like nothing but lightning bolts in your deck. It's, it's so hilarious. Meet my forty lightning bolts. Yeah. Oh, you're playing a birds. Well, that's bolted. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, nothing. Like just going on and on and on with that stuff, right? So. Oh my god, this is amazing. Staying power. power. What is it? Two and a white or three? Two and a white? white. Until the end of turn, and this turn effects don't end. Oh. An enchantment. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So everything is forever. Everything's forever. And so, ever and ever and, and ever. ever. Uh, the see. next one, Johnny Combo Player. Oh, this is a brief This is your sure. brother. A legendary creature, two colorless. Um, what kind of legendary creature is it? He is a human gamer. <laughs> Mountain Dew. Go, 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 gamer! Uh, and so for four colorless, search your library for a card, put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. Read Roll the flavor one. text. Just wait till I get my Crack Clan Ironworks, Genesis Chamber, and Grinding Station. Oh, yeah, and a second mirror retriever. <laughs> Sounds about right. That's so cute. Oh, boy. And <clears throat> the next is just an augment bat. Yeah. Yes. Bat. Bat. It has bat. no costing. But it has flying, and at the beginning of each end oh, step. Okay. It's. It, it, Sorry, it's casting cost is the augment thing. That's yeah. what that is. Okay, yeah. So, um, where was that? Oh, yeah, flying at the beginning of each end step. If an opponent lost three or more life this turn, and then it wow. does whatever because it's augmented, right? The augment cost is a one and a black. I love Very this. Fun. He looks like he's scratching his head like... Yeah, he's like, I'm a bat. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a bat. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to put this next card in, <laughs> nor in the wary. It's yes. going to happen. 
Don't. I don't care. I'm playing it. Uh, strategy strategy. It's one colorless and a red. Sorcery. Roll a six-sided die. Strategy strategy has the indicated effect. If you roll a one, do nothing. Two, destroy all artifacts. Oh. Three, destroy all lands. Oh my god. Four, Ugh. strategy strategy deals three damage to each creature and each player. Five, each player discards their hands and draws seven cards. Six, repeat this process two more times. <laughs> wow. You could, you could go forever and ever. Statistically speaking, yes, you could. Especially if with Pippa. Ooh. Ro- yeah. Roll that dice or, again. More squirrels on the next one. Oh, I love this one. This is a wicked card. Squirrel farm? Yes. I'm farming squirrels. Yeah. Two and a green. Enchantment. For one and a green, reveal a card in your hand. Uh, converting the... Covering the covering artist's the artist credit. credit. So you have to hide <laughs> who the artist is. That Target right. opponent guesses the artist. If they guess wrong, create a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token. Oh, oh amazing. Man, that's amazing. Maybe. No one's gonna know any of the artist names, really. And the ignorant shall fall to the squirrels. <laughs> well, if yeah, I, if, if, if it was me, like I would look at, like if I can't remember, I just look at the car, the artwork, look at the cards that I would have in my hand, and try to relate the the, the artist to it. Yeah, That's what I would do because, like, you know, certain artists have certain styles. Style. So, like, I, I'm personally a big fan of Therese Nielsen, for example. So I know a lot of her artwork. Do you so. know? They should have really put like. In in there, like players cannot search on their cell phones. Yeah, yeah. like it's in the rules. They have to guess. They have to. They guess. have to guess. But like, but the cards in your hand, you can still look. Mm-hmm. That's legal, right? You know, because it's part of. If the you game. have the same card, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> Did you read this one? Yeah. MC. Yeah. For two and a white, whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you may stand up and in a deep booming voice, presenting. And that creature's Me. name. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on that creature. I that would is totally do this. Bold. I would totally do this. Oh, that's so much fun. Yeah. Like, presenting Earl Squirrel in the blue shorts. <laughs> Weighing 300 pounds and 12 inches. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. Uh, <laughs> Next one, Richard Garfield, PhD. This is a reprint. I'm more uncertain. I don't think this is. I think this is a new one that's just to honor. He only Rich- has four fingers. Yeah, Richard fingers. Garfield is who made magic. Yeah, I thought they made this card already. Maybe I don't. I don't think any of these are reprints. No, the, the combo pl- uh, this the combo player one. Uh, Johnny Combo Player is a reprint for sure. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But just in case, uh, Richard Garfield, PhD is a three blue blue um, human designer. You may play cards as though they were other cards of your choice with the same mana cost. You, cho- you can't choose the same card twice. Mana cards, uh, or sorry, mana cost includes colorless, or colors. So, uh, and it's a 2 2. So, this is a really interesting one. So, you can basically play something and just be like, oh no, it's actually this instead. Oh, I totally need the next card. <laughs> Oh, booster tutor. Booster tutor. Open a sealed magic <laughs> magic booster pack. <laughs> reveal the cards and put one of them into your hand. <laughs> you save that Urza, Urza saga pack for all those years for this. <gasps> that's oh, funny. That's awesome. You know, th- th- you know what would suck because, like, um, for us, like, well, uh, the LGS we go to, understand. The owner will sometimes sit in and play draft with us. Okay? Yeah. And like, oh my god, he would soak it up and just grab whatever. Well, oh, that, yeah. that's what happened last time was uh, unstable, right? He got the card where he could grab anything from like the oh, side. any card he owned the, outside of the game. Oh, he owns bad. everything. Yeah, yeah. So he went to the case. Yeah, so he went to the case. He like he grabbed that's like a genius. balance, right? And then someone else like had that card as well. So they're like, oh, I know you have balance. So they went up, bought balance, came back, <laughs> played it. During the, during that's the draft. Funny. That's, that's funny. hilarious. Like that reminds me of like the, the from Lord of the Rings. You have no power <laughs> here. <laughs> so yeah. yet another Aether Vortex. Three colorless red red enchantment. All creatures have haste. Players play with the top cards of their library revealed. That non- poor draft. Non sorcery cards on top of the library are on the battlefield under their owner's control in addition to being in the library. Oh, what? <laughs> what? It puts the vortex in flavor text. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's crazy. 
Um, Timmy, <laughs> power game. Right, love this card. I love this so much. Yeah, so you should uh, yeah. dress like this for the pre-release. I am my Timmy Power Gamer for two green green legendary creature, human gamer. Uh, for four, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. And the flavor text is just wait until I get my Gigantosaurus. <laughs> for one, one. It's oh, a two. It's a. Bad. It's another. Um. Oh, what's it called? Um, Elvish Piper. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Elvish Piper is still cheaper. Yeah, it is. Oh no! Look at me. I'm R and D for. Uh, whoa. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. There's so white. many two scribbles. White, or two white white. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so uh, enchantment. Look at me. I'm R and D. Enters the uh or. Comes into play, choose a number, or enters the battlefield. Yeah. Oh, okay, I get it. So, enters the BF. Okay. Choose a number and a second number, uh, one higher or one lower than, uh, the first number. The first number. All instances of the first chosen number. Oh my goodness. In the full text <laughs> of each permanent, spells and cards in any zone are the, are the second what? chosen number. So, it's like the one we talked about last where you could change it. So, I will change all one ones to seven sevens. Oh, oh you dip. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. Whoa. Make Gross. all the squirrels seven sevens. Yeah. <laughs> the next card. Oh, uh, Cheaty Face. This is definitely a reprint. I know that for a fact. This is if, definitely a reprint. If Cheaty Face is in your hand, you may sneak Cheaty Face out of the battlefield. Oh, yeah. If an opponent catches you right away, that player may exile Cheaty Face blind. Two, two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, I've seen this one before. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. In, uh, in Humaniac. For a one in black. He's a Brainiac. He is a Brainiac. Cute. At the beginning of your upkeep, roll a six-sided dice. On three or four, put a one-one counter on on Inhumaniac. On five or higher, put two one-ones on him. And on one. a one, remove all one-ones on Crit him. fail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, actually. So that's... He's he is art. so cute. I love for him for the mind minded mastermind. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Goblin Haberdasher! Haberdasher! I just love that name. Oh, this this is a reprint as well. I think. I don't know. It's got Menace, so yeah. that's cool. So they so might take a bunch of these maybe reprints. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> has menace. Other creatures you control wearing hats in their art have menace. It is too. Oh, cute. this is Sherman. Yeah. He's gonna have a hat deck now. I know. What? An accessory in every sense of the word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. And this next one's another augment card. So it's um, half one. Half. It's And it's Where's one. Where's that bat? Card. What do you need? <laughs> yeah. So whenever a non token creature enters the battlefield, blah. And it gives whatever it is minus one. The, the slash in the bottom. I thought it was like, is it minus 17 minus zero? Oh, my oh, God. My goodness. So in it's augment, it's only one green. <gasps> Adorable kitten is back. Oh, Adorable kitten is a one white and has it's a one one and has when this creature enters the battlefield and then roll a six sided die. You you gain life equal to the result. So I love I love. I'm doing sorry, that. but can I get a half squirrel, half kitten? Yeah, because yeah, when, whenever a non because if you do that, whenever a non token creature enters the battlefield, you would roll a six sided die and then you would gain, gain life, life to equal the, to the result. Yeah, half squirrel, half kitten. Yep. True. Squirrel kitten. Yeah. Squitten. 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 Oh, I like this one. Curl. Oh. Curl. <laughs> Common courtesy. Two colorless blue blue for an enchantment. Whenever a player casts a spell without asking your permission while casting it, <laughs> counter that spell. Whenever I... a player asks your permission to cast a spell and you refuse... Counter that spell and sack common courtesy. Welcome to Canada, uh, people. In the magic world. Can I just say, yeah. please check out our episode on etiquette to uh, really <laughs> get into <laughs> Yeah. Common courtesy. Uh, I wish more people had common courtesy. Uh, hey, so do you mind if I play this one little card? Uh, yeah. Sure, yeah. I feel like you can. Yeah. Oh, Remember, my God. it's a spell. Like, plain land does not count because it doesn't use a stack or anything like that. So, and you're not casting it. But Jumbo imp. Jumbo, Jumbo shrimp. <laughs> Now I can get down with some jumbo shrimp. Two colorless black for a creature imp flying. As it enters the battlefield, roll a six sided die. Jumbo <laughs> shrimp. Ju- oh. Yeah, you guys got it in my mind. Jumbo <laughs> imp enters the battlefield with a number of one one counters equal to the result. At the beginning of your upkeep, roll a six sided die and put a number of one one counters on it equal to the result. At the beginning of your end step, roll a six sided die and remove a number of counters equal to that result. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. I'm not Talk about that. gambling there. I, li- I told you, I love to gamble. It's fun. <gasps> Ooh, fun. What's fun? Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Read it to us, 
Um, Goblin Tutor for one red. Um, it's instant. Roll a six-sided die. If you roll a one, Goblin Tutor has no effect. Otherwise, search your library for the indicated card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library. For two, a card named Goblin Tutor. For three, any enchantment. Four, an artifact. Five, a creature. And six, an instant or sorcery. So it's I like love it. it's like it's that's nice. It's a rando tutor, which yeah. is very fun. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. Totally dope. Oh that's my god, awesome. slaying mantis. This yes. next guy, like, I'm a wrestler. Yes, mantis, slay. <laughs> so, five green green. Insect wrestler for six six. Just a second. It's a <laughs> Oh my goodness. As long as this spell is. Oh man. Why on the it? stack. Is Read it, baby. Players uh, can't move cards on the battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, so you can't... I'm, I'm just going to rearrange. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no, no. You can't, you can't tapping tap is, or anything. Tapping's moving yeah. a card. Yeah. But uh, the when, sack. When it enters the battlefield by being... Permanent. <laughs> it enters the battlefield by being thrown from a distance <laughs> of at least three feet. When it enters the battlefield, it fights each creature and opponent controls that it touched as it entered. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Yep, just gotta gotta weight that card a little also bit, like put a coin on it. It doesn't have to be from like three feet across. You could go up, like you could stand on a chair and That's throw it true. down. That's true. You know what'd be fun? Because just think about it. It is an unset, technically speaking. Would you affect other people's board states that are playing? Oh, you could, yeah, from to other, yeah. Because remember, like in the last one, like they would have that where you can affect other people and all that stuff, right? So yeah. you can interrupt their games or give uh, cards to other people in the other games. Like, I would do the same thing. It was like, hey, um, I, I don't want to face you in the next match. So I'm going to fling this at all, all your cards. So I they make fight. it so that you lose. That would be hilarious. That's 100% what we should be doing. This next card should be cast specifically at Gattateague every game. Okay. AWOL! Two and a white. Instant. Exile target attacking creature. Then remove it from the game. Then put it into the absolutely... <laughs> absolutely removed from the freaking game forever zone. <laughs> It's, it's lost on the milk carton. It's lost on the milk carton. Amazing. Oh. I love this next one. I read it. It is silly. Read it. Oh. I can't read it. It's too Topsy hard. Turby. Topsy, Topsy Turvy. It's upside down, first off. It's got uh, little beebles on it. It's two and a blue. The phases of each player's turn are reversed. The phases are in oh, reverse no. order. Ending, End step. Uh, post-combat main, combat, pre-combat main, and beginning. As long as there are three... Or Ugh, as long as there are more than two players in the game, the turn order is reversed. So turn order and turn order is reversed. Yeah. Oh, wow. Man. That's that one. With your answer? Way to throw a wrench into the game. Wow. Wow. Ooh. That's crazy. That would be so hard to like keep track of. Skull salsa. Skull salsa. Skull salsa is hilarious. I love sauce. I want some sauce. Give me that sauce, baby. It's so hard to play with this, this card, but it's so much fun. Okay, so it's four black black. Okay, this is a reprint, all right? So it's a zombie head. Fine. When Skull Saucer enters the battlefield, destroy a target creature and put your head on the table. Sack my Skull Saucer when your head stops touching the table. This, yeah, so this is so much fun in drafts because, like, you'll see someone play and then instantly their head goes on a ball. On the table, and they have to play like that. They'll ask the questions like, "Okay, what's on the board? I can't see." And you know, you can say what it is or not, whatever. You know, they have to like. It, it's really, really difficult, and your head really does like your neck gets tired. What if you have a piece there. of wood that's from a table and you're just? No, like, it has to be on the table. No body is ready for this kind of power. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's such a oh my god, such a silly card. This next one's called Sixty Beast. And so, <laughs> So it's four and a red. Three and a red. Three and a, three and a red, four total. Yeah. That sure. was a trick question. As <laughs> six EBs enters the battlefield secretly with six or fewer 1-1 one, one counters on it, then an opponent guesses the, no- the number of counters. If that player guesses right, sack it after it enters the battlefield. Cool. It's nice. Six, isn't it? No, I give it a one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Elvish and per- El- Elvish Impersonators. That's awesome. Which has like an... Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. yeah. Three and uh, I'm Elvis. for elves. As it enters, roll a six out of die. Its base power becomes the first result, and its base toughness becomes the second result. Oh. 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 Oh.
Uh, so the one white enchantment, it, this is a great removal enchantment for white, okay? And very, very random, okay? When go to jail enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls till go to jail leaves the battlefield. At the beginning of your upkeep, if the exile card's owner, owner, <laughs> and, sorry, upkeep, beginning of the upkeep of the exiled card's owner, that player rolls two six out of die. If they roll double, sacrifice, go to jail. So this Fun! Is like, yeah, so you get to play like, craps. Yeah. <laughs> That's Monopoly. It is Monopoly. This is where they got this idea from. Love it. So, it's not original? <laughs> what? It's hey, not original? What? Carnivorous Death Parrot. Wow, heavy metal. One colorless and a blue for a bird. Two, With two. Blood. Flying at the beginning of your Raw. upkeep. Sacrifice Carnivorous Death Parrot unless you say its flavor text. Save a kill spell to deal with this guy. I love it. <laughs> And then the two two flyer. Oh my goodness! That's dirty rat. Dirty uh, rat. One. Dirty dirty rat. So it's again whenever the creature enters the it's battlefield, a host. target opponent discards a card. And the one one. That's actually a really good ability. Yeah. So and it's a common too. Yeah. That's pretty good. Super duty death. Super duper. Super duper. Sorry. Beep, beep. <laughs> Learn to read. Sorry, sir. <laughs> two colorless, one red, instant. Trample. What? Ooh. This spell can deal excess damage to its target's controller. <gasps> Fun. Super duper. Death, Death ray, ray. Does four damage to target creature. Coming through. Oh, coming, coming through. through. That's cool. cool. Putting trample on a, on an instant. Yeah. What, yeah on what a neat yeah. spell. You guys want some free range chicken? Oh, free range, uh, free range chicken. Only free range chicken. Uh, I only, I only eat green. it. Creature bird for two, uh, one and a green. Roll two six out of die. If both are the same, free range chicken gets XX on a turn, where X is that result. If the total result is equal to any other total you have rolled this turn, for example, sacrifice it. For example, if you roll two threes, it gets three three. If you roll a four and a two, <laughs> later in the turn, sacrifice it. Fun. Oh, I love That's these so stupid silly. colors. Uh, humming is a reprint for sure. Uh, yeah, so it's an augment. Flying. Yeah, augment. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, and then whatever it gets plus two plus three and, and flying. Yeah, and yeah. augment <laughs> is a uh, three and a white. Um, so magic word. On the other hand, oh, that's what I'm laughing about. Oh, okay. Two in a blue. Okay, enchantment aura. Enchant creature. As magical uh, magic word enters the battlefield, choose a word. Whisper the chosen word. Wubba lubba dub dub. Tap enchanted creature. <laughs> Wubba lubba dub dub. Wubba lubba dub dub. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I hope you come to this event. Wubba lubba dub dub. Please oh, tap that creature. So <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you should probably. It should be like you have to do as if you're casting. Oh, I guess you, no one can really see my hand gestures yeah. or anything. Yeah. Magic hands. <laughs> uh, next one. Duh. A duh. Literally duh. Doing. Uh, so it's one black. <laughs> Reminds uh, just, me of community. Yeah. <laughs> uh, duh. Uh, so destroy a target creature with reminder text. Rem- I can't read that. Reminder text is any. I tell. Italicize the text in parentheses that explains rules to you that you, you already, already know. know, like trample, yeah, or whatever, or augment, or whatever. But trample some parentheses. Oh yes, it is. But like, if it described oh, what yeah. trample did, yes, yeah. it's like I already know what that does. I'm not mm, stupid. No. What does the sticky really? note say? Uh, I can't read that. Daniel, read it. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What are you sorry, doing? Sorry, Where is he? Oh. You're not looking. He's going Where ahead. Is he? He's cheating. Cheating. He's cheating. Cheating face. Judge. Judge. Will players understand that this creature is being cursed by parentheses, not a chance? <laughs> Duh. Duh. The next one is a Quammen Iguana. It's another like host creature that you can augment. So it's for a one and a red whenever the creature enters the battlefield. Blah, blah, blah. You may discard a card if you do draw cards. That's cool. Oh, oh my gosh, I never had one of these. We're um, gonna, yeah, this will be the last one, and then we're going to... Talk about... Eat, yeah, exactly, talk about more, it. yeah. So, yeah. this is... Uh, we're into the comments now. We've, we've... It's just fun. Yeah. It's just fun. Uh, I feel like we went through the whole set, but it's fun. It's just yeah. exciting. We're only like so, seven cards off from going through so the whole set. So, this one's called Gross Spurt. It's um, a one and a green. It's an instant roll, six out of die. Target creature gets excess to the end of turn, where X is a result. More to love. Yeah. Friendly, nature-loving... Blah blah blah. I don't know. Oh, Some see, yeah, I want it to be done, and then I read the name of the next. That's one. Point. <laughs> I have to do it. Okay. Do the, the hokey, hokey pokey, pokey, and you turn yourself around. Two white. That's for a knight. First it's strike. All about. Two two. Uh, for two. Do the. 
<laughs> hokey pokey. Prevent all damage of sorcery of choice when deal to the knight of hokey pokey this turn. To do the hokey pokey, choose an arm, a leg, or whole self and put it in. Put it out, no. put it in, shake Take it all about. You do the hokey pokey. Turn, turn yourself, yourself around. around. At that's the flavor it. Texas, that's what it's all about. That's hilarious. I love that's that it awesome. gives you instructions for the hokey pokey. Yeah. I put my body in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this there's, there's set. There's one more, sorry, sorry. We're, oh, okay. we're almost done. We'll quickly go through the last Oh section. my god, you knew uh, that then. Hoisted hireling, two and a black for 2-1. It's a zombie. It has to hang <laughs> for as long as it's being held above the battlefield. That's <laughs> amazing. Okay, yeah. Okay, right. we gotta okay. stop. We gotta I mean, stop. We gotta stop. We're, we're, <laughs> that that, we're that other Augment card, the Merman, had me laughing. Had like, yeah, the, the fish thinking top of, and the man legs. Yeah, yeah, but I was thinking of Zoolander. You're dressed up like a mermaid. A mer- merman, Dad. Merman. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's talk about the set in Commander. Okay, um, I'm just gonna give my opinion. Should be legal. Well, <laughs> I put some, I, I put some cards in, but like some of the some of the random cards would add like a little bit of spice, like a black, like uh, like oh, the, the infinite lotus or whatever. No, like uh, like Eddie's deck where it's a pillow fort, and then oh, he has yeah. the the hokey yeah. pokey guy, and you yeah, just like, see him like really dancing fun. about while he's like, attacking. Well, uh, I, I think that like I don't think that you should be able to play the infinity elemental. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. But I, I think he's only at infinity five. I think common sense should reign supreme here. I think yeah. that some of these legendary creatures would be. If somebody wanted to play the Timmy Gamer one, where it was like you could play it and then for four put a creature in, I think that'd be hilarious. That's just an Elvish Piper, like you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but it's again, more expensive. Yep. But once again, it just comes down to like your play group and everything. You always it has Timmy on the front. At, at the I'm end fine of, with most of these. At if the somebody of, wanted to play Bob, like the bevy of Beebles, like that Planeswalker, I'd be totally fine totally with that. Do. At no, the end no, of the day. Commander's supposed to be fun. These all seem fun. We were laughing the whole time looking at these. Like, there's a lot of them just look like silly things. Like, if somebody played these things and if somebody wanted to, from like, hold a creature above the battlefield so it had flying stuff, I think that's hilarious. Go right ahead. Yeah. I would be, like, I would be into it. If somebody wants to destroy a creature and then have to, like, have their head on the table, I also think it's that's hilarious. That's fine. Yeah. If somebody wants to Shaharzard me under the table, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. What if somebody wants to play Spawn of Evil <laughs> and they get under the table? Constantly? Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, like it's just, there, there is a lot of cards that I think would just be fun. I think a lot of these, the the Surgeon General Commander as a Hilarious. legendary creature, yeah, I think could be a five color tribal deck for something silly. Like I think it would be a really really cool enchantment commander. Yeah, I was gonna say oh, it's yeah, it, fun it's one. five that, color cool. enchantment. Yeah. yeah, but like oh, overall, like that, there's some the, cards that are really strong for sure. Like like most things, but like overall, I. I don't mind when people play with... Um, I, I think you're right. Up. It's ask ask the table, especially if it's the commander. Then you know it's there. It's sitting out, ready to go. Hey, do you guys mind if I play this? This is my blah, blah, blah deck. And if even they if, even if you play the, and don't like Joy, then that's fine. Even if you played the circadian one, you know, where it's either it's Vigilance or Flying. If yeah. somebody had that in their deck, I wouldn't be upset. I would think it's funny. No, yeah, because it's like not... That uh, again, it's, it's common sense. Some of these things are obviously broken and like meant to be silly and like... Although the the slaying mantis is funny, like don't and I cannot stress no, this enough. Do not throw do your not, cards at my cards. Do not throw cards at other commander players' decks. It, it oh, sure. so you're telling me not to not to put like a nickel in the sleeve and? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Actually, at oh, never mind. Remember, a sack of oranges does not leave bruises. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it's. The, with, with everything, right? The the goal of the game is to have fun, and if your play group wouldn't mind some of these, then I think it'd be good. There's a a few people like to play the the dinosaur set cards, the like yeah. transformer dinosaurs. I've yeah, I've allowed those as commanders before because I think they're go, funny. Go power Ranger. The the more legendary creatures that people can make decks around, the better. I love making decks. I love seeing new decks. And if somebody wants to make like a Pippa Duchess of Dice deck, that's hilarious. That would yeah, I would like, oh gladly God. re-roll some dice. Same. Yeah. I feel like it's very doable. I feel like it's very fun. I feel the, like it, it doesn't have to be ridiculous. Or bingo. The strategy yeah. strategy one, I think, would be really fun to see played. Like, the roll a six-sided dice. Or that goblin. Bit. Yeah, that, yeah the, the goblin, goblin tutor. tutor. Goblin tutor would be fun. Yeah, like, I, I think all of those would be just, like, solid cards. I, I like silly random things. And there's a lot of these that I wouldn't mind. Uh, again, like, it's it's up to your play group. There, there's obviously a difference between the Johnny combo player go for a card and the Timmy, you know, like the... Yeah, there's a huge difference in those. Play, like, play things that are fun and stuff. And again, ask your playgroup and stuff. 
most of us aren't playing commander tournaments mostly because commander tournaments don't really exist. Yeah. So if you, yeah. you know what I mean, you're playing with your friends and stuff. Yeah. Obviously, don't bring Timmy Power Gamer out to a competitive night. Yeah, but and like, then, check your meta. Yeah, exactly. But if you if Duh. you're just sitting there playing with your friends and stuff. I, I don't think anyone I play with would be upset if I played a Pippa dice rolling deck. I 100% oh, okay. would not be. Yeah. I encourage it aggressively. Yeah. You yeah. know you know my stance. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, fine, like, I'm fine with the majority of these. Like, they're, they're not, like, super crazy powerful. Like, for, like, ones that are supposed to be, like, really, really strong and powerful, they're not super, super Flavor crazy. Flavor Judge should be allowed to be in the game as well. I'm coming in. Flavor Judge. Oh, oh yeah. I'm coming in. Or the, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, the I'm coming, too. I'm coming, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Those ones I would definitely play, play you know. Um, Alexander Clamilton. The reason that I <laughs> want to go play this event is because it seems like I'll just have fun. Yeah. And that's what the game's about. I can't see me sitting stoic through this and have you guys pass. Ever... pass. <laughs> I've never Sorry. drafted one of the unsets. You never? Have you? No. Brian? As long as anyone has ever drafted the unsets? Yeah. Well, oh, personally, man. I'm like looking at them like, do you know what? Like, I wouldn't. I don't think I would play any of these in my decks because, and I don't want to buy them because then they just are going they're to sit there. Yeah, they yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, but like for for me personally, um, whether they Do go for the into land, banner, oh yeah, yeah, like the last uh, unstable set, the lands were really nice. I um, like I wanted to get like so many of them. But a lot, like, a few of Jacob's decks. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. they are just wonderful. well. I think you took yeah, them all from, out of one. Yeah. From personal experience, though, um, drafting an unset. Um, whatever it costs, let's say it's twenty dollars to to do it. Okay, it's so much fun. Yeah. You're you're paying. You're definitely playing for an experience here. And there's we we all play commander. We all love it and stuff. There is sometimes that it is fun. There's some sets that are meant to be like the conspiracy sets were really really awesome. To, yeah, those yeah. are meant to be drafted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and th- this is definitely a set that's meant to be drafted and whatnot. And yeah. like you know the way the way I look at it, okay, it's like I could either spend um two or three hours. Uh, watching a movie in a theater for like twenty bucks, whatever. Or I can. Spend or you go draft on. Well, you're, you're, you're draft. drafting with friends. You're you're seeing people you like and look forward to, or meeting new people. And yeah. That's just it. You're this is a palate cleanser. You're paying for the experience to go out. Uh, it, you know, if you aren't people who constantly play at a game store, like we play at a game store every Friday night. Yeah. 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 But at the same time, not everyone does. Lots of people are home table players. Lots of people don't have a group. Yeah. This Get is like a nice opportunity. Exactly. Because nobody's taking it too seriously. Nobody's coming in with well, like, it's, nonsense. yeah. We're, we're looking at these in the, in the flavor of Commander and like, we all love Commander and stuff. Super fun. But yeah, like I just, the end of the end of the day is if anyone wants to make one of these decks into a Commander deck. And make a silly deck. I'm all happy to Bully play. Bully for them. It. Yeah. No bureaucrats, you know, like short <laughs> bureaucrats. That's that's why I would I I would name and just start playing like uh, all the change leads and everything. It's like, yeah, they're all also bureaucrats. Sorry guys. Yeah. You We're want, also cowards too, so we can't block. You, <laughs> you wanna file a grievance with this person? Please fill out this paper. <laughs> play like old, old If somebody showed up with like like forms ready I, to go i would allow i everything. would totally do that i, I, I don't want to play things you like want to attack orders. please fill out those yeah, yeah. I, I would totally do four, it three seven nine b yeah. Yeah. yeah like i would allow it you would 100%. like to move your creatures into attacking turn please fill out c 482 <laughs> permission to enter the stack <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you play you play it with uh what's it, what's it called uh the the common courtesy yeah so uh. like okay fill out this form do I have permission to play this spell no okay you want to counter it can you please fill out this your, form your hit has been denied <laughs> hey, I have like a, 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 a rubber yeah, stamp yeah, and everything oh my God. I really want to just try to get that cheaty genie on the field. <laughs> cheaty face yeah yeah cheaty face yeah oh look over there <laughs> <laughs> there's so many like. I, I would totally do stuff like this, you know, and just have fun. Like, I, I don't see a problem with having a majority of these into a commander or into yeah. your commander deck. Once again, though, double check with your play group. Like, I know for a fact, like, our play group, um, there have been times when people are like, hey, do you mind if I have, like, a sil- one silver border or one gold border? Uh, it doesn't break the game. It's just, it's cheaper, and I just want to play. It's like, okay, fine. We, like, m- the majority of us don't care. Yeah, I just know? like that fun. I yeah. just want to play commander. I just want to play Commander. I don't care what you really do. As long as like it's within the rules and everything, fine. The, um, that for, Pippa one I keep talking about, it's no different than me playing like the Zinder Split and Okum. Like, you true. roll die, I want to flip coins. It's the same concept. Yeah. So. Oh, one of the spoiled ones that isn't on this list is uh, Crack's Other Thumb. 
What? It lets you just reroll dice, just like oh, Rex. Oh yeah, lets you reflip. Yeah. No, I I like I like magic word because one is blue and two you have to come up with like whatever word to say. Yeah. That's just really really. Oh dumb. yeah, the what was it, Brian? Wub wub a dub. Wub wub a dub dub. Wub wub a dub dub. Yeah. Rick and Morty. I've never seen it. What? <gasps> what? What? Never. What? Oh. Uh, should I? Yes, you should. You would is. It was something that you would totally yeah, if you if you like Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, there's much better. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> way better. Much better when you said it, so. But um, but yeah, that's that's the show, guys. Let us know what you think about the unset. Are you going to play it uh, at least for a draft? And how would you feel of some people including these cards? Do you think all of these should be banned? I know that a lot of the the rules and design and ban on these are meant for obviously you couldn't bring this into a standard set, but. Yeah. How game breaking are a lot of these in Commander and stuff? Is there some you think should be fine, and would you like to include any of these in your decks? Well, that's the thing. Like, I, if I said everyone to to everyone, like, hey, if I play just one card, like MC, I really, really, really want to play MC and just be like presenting. That would be know? very fun. I would love to play that card. Yeah, I just want to play Alexander Clamilton. Oh, I'd feel that on a deep level, dog. <laughs> we just start I, singing. I really one hundred percent make an A Cornelia deck. Oh yeah. Oh, there's acorns, two. yeah. Acorn, no. squirrel, tribal. Anyways. Anyways. Thank you we so much for listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. If you have any, if you want to reach out to us, all our Instagram, uh, or I should say social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and as well, if you want to chat with us, uh, reach Discord, out, yeah, get our maybe. Discord. Yeah. Or heck, you know, drop us a rating on one of these platforms that we have. I don't know, like. All that good stuff. Yeah, if All you, that like, good if stuff. you like it, let us know. If you don't, let us know. Yeah. Yeah, any feedback is good feedback. But anyways, that's the show. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah, See ya. Yeah.